gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy and cool day. It is very very hot here at the moment in the UK, I may have mentioned that. So today I am going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a what's in my bag of the day, my pochette accessoire and my outfit of the day for a quick trip to the supermarket. Excuse the state of the background today. I'm trying to do this video just with the natural light coming through the window because it is way too hot to be having extra lights on and stuff. And I don't know how long my camera is going to last because it may well overheat. It has done that before. And you will be hearing sounds coming from outside, doors, cars, all sorts of stuff because I cannot close my window or I shall melt. I have got a big fan down here which is currently not on because it is noisier than a jet engine taking off um, and all it's really doing is moving warm air around. So those are all of my caveats out of the way. We're going to run through my outfit of the day, my shoes of the day, my bag of the day and we're going to do a what's in my bag. We're also going to have a look at what makeup I'm wearing because I'm wearing less than usual and I thought I'd just drop in and do this quick video because this is real life. This is what's happening at the moment. Um, it is quite hot. It's even too hot to wear these super light Prada glasses, um, but I need to wear them. So we'll start off with makeup of the day. Um, I do not have any powder, blush, anything like that on. I've got my moisturiser and I've got a bit of dual eyeshadow as an eyeliner. This is the dual palette I use and I chose this colour here for something a little bit subtle with a little bit of colour, not too crazy bright, but also easier to wear than a pencil or liquid eyeliner that could easily smudge in this heat. I will link my Jaw Beauty unboxing and get ready with me down below so you can go and check out how I used all of these other colours. And this is the mascara that came as a freebie with that order, it's the Dior Show Pump and Volume HD and I am loving this mascara, it's fabulous and I'm wearing my NARS Afterglow in orgasm. I don't have too much of this one left because I've been using it and I love it so much, but I found this one a little bit lighter in terms of colour and finish and just feeling a little bit more lightweight than my Dior Lip Glow. So that is it for makeup. Any redness you see on my face is all natural. <laughs> there is no blush, there's no powder, there's no nothing. Right, outfit of the day. I'm wearing my new H&M stone kind of beigey kind of biscuity kind of stone kind of coloured um what do you call it i don't really know what to call this t-shirt it's a t-shirt but it's got this detail here where it kind of sticks out a little bit and is kind of open down there which i enjoy lets a little bit of air movement get round if only we had a breeze to move around me okay this is tremendously annoying <laughs> the guy opposite has just started painting his fence with a very noisy kind of air airbrush painter thing. I don't know how bad that's going to be on camera, so I apologise now. What I might do is try and put some music, so hopefully that sound gets a little bit drowned out, but you can still hear me okay. I am totally rambling. I can't come back to this. Shall I try and close the window? I'm going to try and close the window. I have closed the window. I can still hear him, but hopefully you won't be able to hear him quite so clearly. So, where was I? Um, outfit of the day, yes. So, H&M top, new top, love this. Love the blue one. I have only worn each one of them once. Going to wash them, going to see what it's like to iron them because they've got that interesting little fold and I will keep you updated on progress there. But so far, so groovy or should I say so fan dabby dozy. <gasps> Along with this t-shirt I am wearing a pair of denim cut-off shorts which I actually picked up from Tesco from the Florence and Fred um, collection and that was years ago. I don't know how long I've had these for but they're my go-to every summer. Pull them out, chuck them on, good to go. Absolutely love them. I find the pockets really, really useful. They're a decent size. They're not like those pretendy pockets or those super shallow ones. They are proper pockets front and back. 
and that gets a big thumbs up from me. I am wearing a belt that I picked up from John Lewis. It is no brand, it is maybe John Lewis and Partners brand, and it is my first foray into that kind of neutral kind of tones. I didn't want to spend a huge amount on the belt, and I quite like the buckle. It's it's like a brushed brass, um, antique brass, and um, I like that it's just two circles. It kind of gives me a little bit of a slight bit of a Gucci vibe without spending the extra sort of £350 that I would have had to to get the Gucci belt. And it's my first run out on these Dune location memory foam, super squishy, super soft leather, memory foam sandals. And I have to say, these were fantastic to wear, so comfy. I was a little bit worried that the platform might make me feel a little bit tottery, you know, given that I've been knocking around the house in my slippers mostly, but I felt completely stable with the straps and everything, I felt completely held in. Um, the leather is so soft that actually I didn't worry about heading outside in the 33 degree heat. Yes, UK, 33 degree heat. That's about 10 degrees more than it normally gets here. <laughs> Um, and worried about my feet instantly going <laughs> and swelling up um, but the the leather was so soft it didn't dig in I didn't get any lines or anything like that so these are an absolute win granted I only wore them for about an hour I will link them down below I'll link everything that I can down below and you can go and check them out but I would absolutely recommend these especially if you're like me and you have a little bit of a wide foot situation going on now if you've been with me for a while you know I like a really heavy kind of spicy heavy kind of fragrance for my perfume if it's got intense on the bottle i'm probably gonna love it <laughs> but it is hot and i wanted to go for something a little bit lighter now one of my favorite lighter scents is the joe malone pomegranate noir but this does not last on me for longer than maybe an hour and i found that very very distressing my very resourceful little sister found this pure royal parfum 905 and this smells almost identical to the joe malone pomegranate noir but this lasts all day long so i am wearing this and i can still smell it and i still feel really quite nice and light and fresh because of it so that's all the accoutrement but you're here for the bag of the day and the what's in my bag because like me you're a little bit nosy and you want to know what's going on in there. <laughs> now, again, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I absolutely cannot live without my mini pochette accessoire. Pochette accessoire and mini pochette accessoire. I cannot live without this. I keep all of my bits and pieces that I may need, may not need, definitely need, uh, all in one place. And then I just transfer this from bag to bag. Now, it can go in here, but it doesn't leave much room for other stuff. So I have decanted the absolute bare essentials from my mini pochette accessoire and put them in my pochette accessoire. First off the bag, this is the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire. I have recently done a review video about this. Do I think it's still worth it? All of that kind of stuff. What fits out of push, but this is, Real life, this is how I actually used it today. I have got the Louis Vuitton. And it lips, and it lips, and it lips. And it lips. I have got the Louis Vuitton 12 millimeter, I think it is non-adjustable Vachetta crossbody strap. I also have the dress up your purse, honeyed, slightly honeyed Vachetta. Um, little tassel which I think is just so cute on this bag so I was wearing it crossbody in the supermarket as I was running around and what did I have in it well let's have a look shall we first off my mask and this is another reason why I love wearing these jeans because when I'm taking this off and putting it on frequently I can just pop it in the pocket of my jeans don't have to worry about it falling out. Edic Winnie here I forgot my phone my phone fitted in here as well absolutely no problem. So in here this is what we've got in here I have got the NARS lipstick because it's quite nice and small it doesn't take up much room in bags. I've got some receipts and some reminder notes for things that I needed to get. Little Chanel duo mirror just in case I panicked about 
how I was looking. <laughs> the heat does crazy things to us. I've got Hubby's Aspinall of London card case in the Midnight Lizard, which is absolutely hammering with his cards. I've got my new Aspinall of London card coin holder, which I am absolutely loving. I've got my Louis Vuitton clay with my house and car keys in. I've got my AirPods because after doing the vlog, Hubby suggested maybe I should try using my AirPods to see if the microphone on this would be, would give a better volume. Um, so I was going to test those out, but to be honest, I just wanted to get in and get out and I forgot about it. And do you remember when I said I decanted some items from my mini pochette accessoire? I decanted them into this beautiful dress up your purse. This is from the Dream Collection, this little leather envelope pouch akin to the Kiragami, small Kiragami. And here I've got some uh, paracetamol, some Rennies and a little glasses cleaner because hot and sweaty. And that's it in the... oh, um, this is... okay, what is this? Oh yes. And the last thing I've got in here is just a little baggie with an earring in it. It's an 18 karat star stud, like the one I'm wearing in my top hole here. Um, because the, the butterfly snapped, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but the butterfly snapped a little, one of the little loops, the hoops of the butterfly snapped off. So I was going to pop into the jewellers to um, see if they could replace the butterfly for that but I didn't make it into town, I only made it to the supermarket because, and I may have mentioned this, it was hot! And that is my outfit of the day, makeup of the day, shoes of the day, bag of the day, what's in my bag video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please do show it the thumbs up love. Let me know in the comment section down below, how do you dress when you have to go out and about in the hot weather? I may have mentioned it before, but in the UK we are not set up for this kind of weather. I am so grateful that Hubby managed to pick up an, a portable AC unit last year. Sadly it was after the heat wave last year but oh my gosh it's mwah. Um, it lives in our bedroom and pretty much the four of us, Hubby, me, Daisy and Lily have all been camping out in there as much as possible to try and stay cool. Um, so going to the supermarket with the air conditioning there was actually really rather lovely. Anyway, let me know how you dress for the hot weather. I am now going to go and put my caftan on and lie in front of the AC unit for approximately three hours until my body temperature has come down. Until I see you, yes you, boop, for the next video. Please stay cool, stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others. Wow, brain fade. Stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye.